Hello, welcome to Revelate Alpha. Hope you're all well. So, very quick video here. Uh, if you're into electric bikes or you're considering the electric bikes for the future and you've always been wondering, well, the range and all this kind of stuff and the batteries and I just don't know and the price and everything. Well, now you might have a viable alternative. Now, for if you're an electric lover already, then you would already been convinced. So this video isn't really for you. This is for, for those of you who are kind of wondering, well, is it really worth it? So if you've been watching my channel the last year, I've been talking about different battery technology and it's on the cusp of coming in or they've been talking about it over the last year, year and a half. In different manufacturers, there's been a lot of concurrent production or a lot of uh, concurrent research and development into this field. All the big players are involved in some form. Uh, some independents are involved. Also car manufacturers, uh, marine manufacturers. You know, it, it, it just goes on. And also um, aviation manufacturers are also in, involved in this as well. And they're wondering whether they can use larger scale capacities in smaller vehicles and smaller scale uh, batteries in larger vehicles. Okay, so Verge, the uh, electric motorcycle uh, manufacturer, they say they're ready to go into production and to deliver motorcycles by the first quarter of this year, 2026, with their new solid state batteries. Now, uh, their their TS Pro uh, bike uh, currently was doing in the range of about 200 uh, uh, miles, 200 kilometers, something like that. And uh, let me just uh, check that up. It was doing 200 miles. Yeah, 200 miles. Uh, and it was, uh, you know, in, in kind of... Uh, not competition, but certainly on the same levels as, you know, many, many bikes do with a 200 mile range, right? Now they're looking with this new battery, solid state batteries, that'll go over to uh, 370 miles, 370 miles on a single charge. Now, the other thing is, depends where you are in the world, of course, is the, the number of charging stations. Well, these are they're popping up all over the place as we know they're popping up all over the place and what they're claiming here which is really really interesting so again this is going to be that other aspect of charge time for you one was range one was charge time they're saying here that actually they could charge it up to 80 percent within five minutes but actually what they've 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 restricted it or kind of enabled the batteries only to be charged to 80 percent within 10 minutes so that means you can go and have a coffee have a little rest break or whatever it is okay whatever the situation is five minutes 10 minutes that's pretty good. I mean, that is pretty good, especially if you're getting rain 370 miles. Now, we all know that 370 miles is highly unlikely, right? You've got to have optimum conditions to get that. But let's just say you're getting 250, 280, 300 miles on a single charge, and it's only 10 minutes to charge. I mean, that's to be in the saddle for, you know, 300 plus miles in one go is pretty good going. You know, I used to do a lot of endurance riding and that is pretty good going just on a sit on a single, uh, single stint. So I, I would say most riders are never going to do that anyway. So I have a single charge. This seems to be the future. New battery technology, solid state batteries. Yeah, they're still, you know, heavy bikes. They're still batteries, but it's the technology. This is what we've been talking about for a long time. It's the technology in these things and whether they could be a real alternative to internal combustion engine, motorcycles, cars, trucks, whatever it is. We've got to consider what the price is going to be. We don't really know what the, the price is going to be, where they're going to be sold. Um, but really, there's there's lots. This is not the only company that's doing this. There's lots of other companies that have been invested in battery technology, and it's going to be coming out soon. Uh, uh, and within 2026, 2027, you're, you're going to see a lot more of this. This is the first manufacturer to come out, nail their colors to the mast, and say, we're bringing out our bike in the first quarter with this new solid-state battery tech. Quick charging, great range, or, or a lot more increased range. What more do you want? Okay, the only problem here would be how much is this going to cost? So that might put a lot of people off, but hey, Hey, let, let's just see how far it goes. Uh, but in terms of a of an initial first step or, or or a jump forward in technology, yeah, this seems to be the the way to go.
Now, if you're a if you're a, a petrol head, then you're never going to like this, right? It doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter what I say, or it doesn't matter what they say, or what they claim. I and mean, I'm a petrol head as well. I'm I'm not totally convinced by electrics, but I am being warmed to them more and more when I see advances in technology like this and advances in performance, but also in in just the practical day to day living of them. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like what I do here, keep on watching, and I'll catch you again in another video coming very soon. Bye now.